question for you guys. Which speakers are you using right now and what's your opinion on them? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Creative T100 – Best Minimalist Speakers If you've got limited space on your desk but you still want speakers that deliver punchy sounds, then the Creative T100 set could be ideal. They're a pair of 2.0 speakers, which means you get a left speaker and a right speaker and nothing else. No extra speakers for surround sound and no subwoofer for floor-shaking bass. While that means that people looking for immersive cinema-like audio should look elsewhere, this pared-down set will be very appealing to many people where space is at a premium. Creative has definitely kept things simple here. One thing to note is that the USB port isn't for connecting to your PC, it's for inserting a USB flash drive to play songs, and the T100 supports FLAC, WAV, and MP3 files. It's a bit of an archaic addition, to be honest, with most people content with streaming services like Spotify these days, but what Creative is attempting to do with the T100 is offer superior sound quality despite the lower price and limited tech. Number 4. Razer Nomo Chroma – Best Small Speakers Razer has been a great influence for a long time for all things PC-related. However, they have not been that dominant of a force in the PC speaker market, but with a Razer Nomo Chroma, they aim to do that as well. The Nomo Chroma desktop speakers have a very good sound quality, attractive design with customizable chroma lights, and an affordable price. These are some eye-catching speakers. With a bulky surveillance camera look and the RGB addition, they look very cool. The 3-inch glass fiber reinforced speaker drivers are lodged on the cylinders that stay on slick stands. The cylinder extends forward and back beyond the bass, allowing extra volume for resonating the bass frequencies. The bass is really minimal and simple, but keeps the speaker stable. On the right speaker bass, there are the volume and bass controls located. Under the bass, there's a ring of RGB light shining through. You shouldn't expect audiophile grade audio quality, however, it will provide solid quality and great volume. The frequency range is from 50 to 20,000 Hz. Installation and setup is very easy due to the lack of a separate subwoofer. Razer Synapse 3 software is not required for the speakers to work, but it is needed for changing the color and tweaking the EQ. They provide a very typical gamer sound with a bass boost and a bumped top end with muddier mid range. Number 3 Logitech Z906 Best Surround Sound. You might not have expected to see Logitech in this list, but the manufacturer has delivered an excellent option here with its super powerful package, rocking amazing build quality, coming in with five satellite speakers, subwoofer, and a central control unit to deliver a solid experience. First off, I have to state this system was first intended for PC use, however many users have tested this setup in their living rooms to see that it delivered a great performance. However, this system is not the most fitting for living room in terms of design, since it rocks a little clunky and techy look. However, if you can hide or incorporate them with your room's design, all the better. You get one of the best home theater systems for your home. This system has a frequency range that spans from 35Hz to 20,000Hz, which is pretty optimal, and each of the speakers has a 3-inch polished aluminium phase plug driver. The overall surround sound experience coming from this system was proper and very powerful, delivering a great cinematic experience. I like the bass, which is pretty punchy and driving, the mids were also quite clear as the dialogue sounded magnificent, and the stringed instruments were marvellous. For the price, you definitely won't find a better system. Number 2. Logitech G560 LightSync – Best RGB Speakers Coming up next, we have an excellent pair of gaming speakers from peripheral manufacturer Logitech, the G560s. These speakers are a superb and excellent choice for entertainment as well, delivering a powerful sound, great lighting options like a proper gaming device, Bluetooth connectivity, solid software, and overall tons of value for the price. Logitech has hit the sweet spot once again, so let's take a closer look. The Logitech G560 speaker package consists of two satellite speakers and a subwoofer that's covered with a nicely textured deep black plastic, and while there is no light on the subwoofer unit of the device, there are four bright RGB LEDs that go along with a strip of LED on each device. The aforementioned software is pretty much crucial for the functionality of this device, as it delivers controls for the lighting and as well for the surround sound, equalization settings, and setting up different profiles for different games. In terms of sound and performance, the Logitech G560 delivered great gaming excellence, especially with the integration of the Logitech gaming software that delivered great customization. 
For example, I set different profiles for different games so I can get the most immersive experience for each, and it didn't disappoint me at all. If you want a great set of gaming speakers, the Logitech G560 is a dream come true. Number 1. Bose Companion 2 Series 3 – Best Sound Quality Bose doesn't make a lot of PC speakers, and most of them are very expensive. The least expensive of the bunch is the Bose Companion 2 Series 3. It has two compact speakers that are angled upward, with the sound aiming towards your head while you're sitting at your desk. On the right speaker are located the volume knob and connectivity ports. Each speaker has a 2.5-inch full-range driver with no separate tweeter. It's important to note that there are speakers in this price range with separate tweeters and subwoofers. Speakers are also really bass-shy. Bose has implemented something new with the Bose Companion 2 Series 3, a feature called True Space Stereo Signal Processing Circuitry that maximizes the audio performance for closely placed small speakers by widening the soundstage and the image, and also adjusting the tonal balance. Music-wise, the speakers had decent performance, the highs were okay, and the mids were good with nice vocal intonation. Very easy to listen to, every word was clearly comprehensible. Put a pair on your desk at work or home where you like to spend your time, very good speakers all round. May not provide the best value for the money, but both quality and premiumness justifies the price in my eyes. Very dependable and without worry, you'll use them for a long time. FAQ What is a gaming speaker? A gaming speaker is a speaker which has been tailored to suit the conditions presented by a heavy gaming session. They're typically smaller and will have optimized features on board to master frequency response, free of distortion in a high-performance manner, but without demanding too much processing power from your computer. Many top audio electric manufacturers develop and produce exemplary speaker models. Some of them, at the end of the day, just don't cut the mustard when compared directly to those that have been engineered by companies specifically for gaming. What sound system is better than Bose? Many of their speakers use aptX technology to produce crystal clear sound, even over Bluetooth systems. Many audiophiles consider Klipsch to offer the best bang for your buck on the home theater market. Not only do Klipsch speakers tend to provide a crisper sound than their Bose competitors, but they're also cheaper. Are soundbars good for gaming? They may have more difficulty with directional audio, but soundbars can make excellent game speakers otherwise, especially newer models that have been designed for gaming, like the Razer. Soundbars also are a particularly good choice if you want to save on space with a compact audio solution. Soundbars may also have more advanced audio connections to HDMI or USB 